telltale signs that we had a visitor in the evening. <laughs> yeah, it was Hamilton. They come through the cat door. Dun, 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 dun. Look at the prince. See? I know I was visited by a raccoon because the first thing they do is they go over and they put their little hands in the water pool and make their... And then they and they leave a little prince all over. I almost forgot to close the bathroom door. What we do is we take the cat food and the cat... Um, the, the, the box that has the cat food in it, the, the lid on it, and put them into this little bathroom and close the door. And we've been doing that for months in the hopes that the raccoon will get the idea that there is no food here. But I guess they can smell it because their little paw prints go right up to the door. <laughs> Here's Hamilton eating his, his kibble. Hamilton, is that good stuff? So I don't want to talk to you. But yep, yeah, so we've got to give him fresh water. This hasn't happened for a few weeks. And last night, I almost forgot I had to get out of bed and come in and put the, put the food away. And then in the morning, when Mark wakes up, if it's daylight, he'll come in and he'll open the door. We've got this routine down. I don't know what will happen when we go out of town. But they never, never go past this, this little area. They don't go into the kitchen, which is over this way. They don't come into the rest of the house, which is this way. They come in the cat door and they go over to the water dish and put their little paws in the water. And then they go and make a little prints so I know they were here. And they try to get into the bathroom, but they can't do it. So anyway, we had another visitation. Oh, and they don't climb on anything either. Though I have seen paw prints right on the wood. But they never try to get into anything else. Just that. Weird, huh?